This is the fifth quarter. Welcome back into the fifth quarter. Jenna Barth once again alongside me, Joe Katz. And once again in 2019, New Hanover County is loaded with talent. And it kind of starts off with the defending Mid-Eastern Conference champs, the Hoggard Vikings. They're going to be a team to watch here once again. A couple of changes, obviously, on the offensive side with the, a new offensive coordinator amongst uh, the changes in staff. Uh, that said, quarterback Gabe Johnson back in the lineup, a uh, big defensive player uh, back for the Vikings, along with that defense under coach Craig Underwood. The Vikings right now, I would say, maybe the early favorite out of New Hanover County. Obviously, a lot to be decided. We're going into week one of the regular season. Hoggard always a team uh, to reckon with as we get ready for another fall uh, season to kick off. All right, enough of the chit chat. Let's get to it. Let's check out the Vikings, the rest of the New Hanover County schools in our final fifth quarter preview. We start our New Hanover County fifth quarter season preview with the defending Mid-Eastern Conference champs, the Hoggard Vikings. Hoggard went 10 and two last season before falling to Pinecrest in the third round of the state playoffs. Things will look a bit different for the Vikings in 2019 as they lose their leading rusher and their top three receivers to graduation, but their current senior class is ready to keep the tradition going and their head coach has challenged them. You know, make this team your own and uh, you know, start us off strong. So we've got a we got a really tough schedule to, to start the season, and um, you know, excited to see how those guys handle um, those early tough games. Let's move on to the Hanover Wildcats now under brand new head coach Dylan Dimmick, who was previously the offensive coordinator at Hoggard High School. The Wildcats are coming off yet another successful season when they finish nine and four, but they do lose the county's all-time leading passer in Blake Walston. New Hanover knows some things might change offensively, but expect them to run the football, with Jabez Howard returning and the transfer of former Ashley standout, Makai Stanley. We'll, we'll probably run the football a little bit more. I feel like we've got a stable of pretty good running backs. Um, at the same time, you know, we're going to take what you give us. So, you know, if, if, if we, we can throw it, we'll throw it. You know, if, you let us run a soft box, we'll run a soft box. The Lenny Buccaneers were the first team to hit the practice field this fall for their annual Midnight Madness practice, and they're hoping it pays off. The Bucks are coming off a year when they ended the season at 4 and 7 and 5th in the Mid-Eastern Conference. Lenny loses a talented group of seniors from 2018 led by quarterback Sherrod Sidbury, so they know they're going to have to rely on a lot of younger players in key situations headed into this fall, but they're confident if they stick together on and off the gridiron, good things will follow. I think our seniors have been doing a great job of trying to instill that in a lot of our kids. Um, it's, it's, just a, it's just a test every single week. Um, you're going to run into some adversity, and I'm just looking forward to seeing us overcome that. But if we stick together and, and we trust the process and we trust each other, I think we'll be fine. To finish out the New Hanover County preview, we go down Carolina Beach Road to visit the Ashley Screaming Eagles. There'll be a new head coach at the helm for the Eagles in 2019 as Wilson Helms takes over for Jeff Turner. Ashley went 3-7 in 2018 and will be a relatively new team staff-wise both offensively and defensively in the fall. The team lost 19 seniors from last year's team and had their 1,000-yard running back Makai Stanley transfer to New Hanover, but their head coach knows it's a process anytime you take over a team, but he's ready to put his team to work. Some of that old cliche stuff is, is real. You know, you're focused on what you can control. Don't worry about those things that you can't control. And, uh, you know, we got to worry about getting up in the morning with the right mindset and then getting to practice on time. And then when you cross the white line at practice, you know, practice in the right way in every rep that you do. Coach Helms has got me pumped up for the high school football season. It should be a good one, especially with those new Hanover County schools. No doubt. And it's always uh, great rivalries when these teams uh, match up. And we'll see them throughout the course of the Mid-Eastern Conference season. It should be a great one. And as, as we said, the season actually gets underway. We'll have week one. That'll be coming up on August 23rd. So next Friday night, it will be a great night for high school football. Joel will join myself once again. All of those highlights coming to you next Friday. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next Friday.